and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rumble Scion, our very first Magic Misadventures deck. That's right, the newest expansion for Legends of Runeterra is out. We have some new champions and we're going to be playing three decks today and we're going to be playing all four of the new champions. We'll have Ari and Kennen together, Pantheon with Taric and then Rumble with Scion. And we're starting with the Rumble Scion here uh, in Twitch chat. People are saying they haven't seen too many Rumble decks yet uh, from just like what everybody else is playing. I guess a lot of people are playing lots of Pantheon right now. And then it's a little bit of like Kennen and Ari as well. But people aren't really playing Rumble. So let's play some Rumble. So Rumble is going to be a four mana, five, four, pretty big champion. Discard up to three cards to grant your allied Rumbles everywhere. Impact then quick attack, then spell shield. Um, so, you know, like, if you can do that, you'd have, like, a five power with impact, so attack, it would strike, and deal six. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can attack again, deal six again, level up at that 12 damage. And 12, like, when if you can rumble, like, that's kind of difficult to do, not gonna lie. But if you can level up rumble, then this uh, rumble is gonna be awesome, because anytime you deal damage to the enemy nexus, you're creating a random Mecha Yordle in hand, but if you already have a Mecha Yordle, then you uh, grant you know grant all Mecha Yordles in your hand plus one plus one and reduce their cost by one. Pretty awesome there. So we're gonna kind of build it around this with like the discard theme, with you know how you know play discard. So we're gonna be gonna be playing Scion with it being a discard theme, and then also a Mecha Yordle theme. Uh, gonna be making other you know discarding to manifest. Mecha Yordles with some different cards. Since we're going to be playing Mecha Yordles, we're going to try this new Yordle Explorer. This card looks ridiculous. This two mana two two from Bandal City that whenever you summon any other Yordle, grant it plus one plus one. That card just seems ridiculous. So we're going to play that, and then that's going to go with our Yordles. So like Rumble with the Yordle Explorer will turn into a six five. So that that's a lot better. Um, let's see, then we're going to need to discard cards, right? So we have like our, our normal Noxus cards, Lost Soul and Reborn Grenadier, Fallen Rider, right? Those are all good cards to discard, but we need more than just those. So we're going to play uh, like Lecturing Yordle that can make those poison darts that are fleeting. Perfect cards to discard. Uh, Otterpus. It's a great, just like little one mana, one, one, make something right away for us to discard. And it attunes, so it replaces, you know, so it basically essentially costs zero mana. Uh, gets us a little blocker and then gives us this prank for us to discard. Conchologist can either give us like a removal spell if we need, or if we don't hit a very good spell, we can discard the spell that we make from Conchologist. And so those put together with those other nine cards for us to already discard, um, that gives us just more options. And of course we can always discard Scion as well. All right, so that that's what our decks. This is our deck. This is how it looks. Um, again, this is very, day one, right? This the, this is gonna be my very first games uh, with these new cards. Um, so you know these decks aren't perfect yet, right? Like these are kind of decks that us trying out the new cards. They're gonna be tuned, um, but uh, you know don't expect these these deck lists to be perfect right now. But we're kind of just um, just kind of exploring, I guess. Just kind of seeing what happens. Um, so these are all four of our cards that we want to discard. Maybe we keep, maybe we keep these two. No, I can't keep these two. Hmm. All right. Okay. So don't see any of our, there we go. There's a discard card and of course Rumble wants us to to discard three cards. So Rumble didn't really get any cosmetics, unfortunately. So we're, we're using the Club Ox board. We got this Mecha Poro, <laughs> kind of like a Mecha Yordle, Mecha Poro. Good morning, Scorpy. Calling Strike's a pretty decent removal spell these days, and it's going to be good against... Block this. It'll be good against Vagar. So 
Spell Shield shows up for the third that we discard. So that's pretty good, because that gets rid of, you know, like that card would have got rid of my spell shield on Rumble very easily. Alright, so we're going to discard Lossal, Prank, and Prank. And so now all Rumbles everywhere will have Quick Attack, Spell Shield, and Impact. Not bad, not bad. Another card to get rid of the spell shield. As so. I wish this was like Rumbles Everywhere dealt 12 damage, but that's uh, a reason why we're playing Whirling Death is to help the Rumble level up. A good one to hit. So now they know about the culling strikes. Now they know to play around the culling strike and everything. That was a good prank for them. Okay, I'm gonna go and play the arena promoter, and I'm just gonna discard the Otterpus. You know, not too different from playing Otterpus or just discarding Otterpus. We're just gonna go ahead and discard. We don't need that one one right now, I don't think. All right, so let's see what we got. We got two mana challenger impact, five mana, five, six impact that attacks and gets two sand soldiers, or four mana, three, two impact. When I'm summoned, create a random one, two, and three cost follower in hand. Wait, random one and two and three cost follower? I, you know, I only like read these cards a little bit. I, I kind of thought that would be an or. That's an and? Well, I'm going to take the Create 3 cards in my hand. I mean, if we need to discard things, like, that's great. Create 3 things in hand. Yeah, the thing is, like, Rumble's a lot of card disadvantage, especially right away, right? Like, we just discarded 3 cards from, from Rumble and got nothing in return. Alright, I guess we just attack out. Leveled up Rumble is really where Rumble gets strong. Wow. We still get the impact, right? Yes, we level up Rumble. Yeah! Level up Rumble animation. Okay, okay. So now it gains the spell shield back. And we need to deal damage to the enemy Nexus, because then we'll be uh, doing cool stuff. I think Pokey Stick. Trixie Tentacles is kinda nice though, just like making them discard a card. But I think we'd rather just Pokey Stick. Yeah, three mana draw three. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so how am I doing? One, two, three. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, I should have Pokey Sticked in response. I, I didn't even think about Pokey Stick doing the damage and then Yeah, I should I should have Pokey Sticked in response. Wow. Those are good cards. Chip, not so much, but Avros and Sentry and Vanguard Sergeant. Those are useful. Long road behind, long road ahead. Alright, so we'll manifest a Mecha Yordle. Or no, create a random Mecha Yordle. And draw a card. Dude, all of our cards are broken. Okay, Sentry or Yordle Explorer? Alright, how much do you cost? Five mana? Grant other allies plus one plus one? Plus one. 
We'll just get you in play. So we're going to have nine mana next round. If I want to play this Trumpet Tekker, that means we'd only have four other mana. So if we need a mini morph Senna. Hmm. My mana is going to be kind of uh, stressed this next round. So, for very first game here with Rumble Scion. Wow, Fading Memories. They had to get Conchologist made of Fading Memories so they get a Professor Von Mech. Wow, that's some luck. Alright, just, just kind of take it. Kind of thinking they're holding on to... I guess I can't kill... Oh, I guess I can't kill their champion, can I? Discipline and steal. The four drop... Yeah, the Vagar. With this Culling Strike now. That was a really good prank, making Culling Strike cost two more. But, anywho... First game of the deck, it's Mecha Yoros are looking pretty strong. Ooh, okay, so that thing's fleeting, so it's gonna be going away. So, do we like open attack or Fortamasia? Man, Fortamasia could be super good, but that's gotta be risky. Wow. Coral creatures made trinket trade. <laughs> That's the very best one drop. Yeah, they're not gonna have. They're not gonna have ruination, right? We could also play Scion, but I think they're gonna have many more for Scion. I don't think they're gonna have ruination, right? I hope not. You know what they do? We still have four mana. We can... I don't know. Probably do something cool. Alright, so they get to play that fast speed. It does three to all enemies. That just cancels out the... Plus three, plus three, basically. But all my things still attack for three more. So that's still them taking 14, 15, 16. That's them taking 16. That's them taking 15. Down to two. If only they made it down to one, I could Whirling Death and everything. Um, I could still Whirling Death. I don't really see the reason to Whirling Death, though. Like, Whirling Death would put them down to one. This is probably fine. Yeah, so this thing creates three random followers again. This little dipper's got to be good with Scion, right? Man, or I guess th that card's also also just perfect with Lost Soul. I don't know. I don't. I already have enough cards. So like the other one created like the zero one or like the one two three drop. I already have like enough cards. But then again, this is a six mana card, and like my hand's super expensive. But I guess this card with Lossal is actually just amazing. Of 
Alright, so that forces them to mini morph. Alright, cool. Avro's in center is the last draw. Good win over Darkness Control. And we're 1 0. Wrote that down before. Discard sign on the attack after Fort Amasia. Give me an attack over one. Oh, yeah, okay. Um. That's a good good call there, Dr. Tobias Funke. I did not think of that. Of yes, I could have probably discarded Scion, Burst Speed, Give Overwhelm, and uh yeah, I bet I could have done all that. I didn't really consider it, but um Bet I could have. We got Rumble. Otterpus coming in around late, like usual. Whirling Death. Alright, so we're playing against Kenan Ezreal. I don't know. Might on Rumble sounds kind of cool. It does sound kind of cool. Especially with Whirling Death. Alright, I'll just take it. We're probably going to discard it anyway. I assume they take two. Okay, or not. Rumble. All right, what's what's your champion spell? Grant an ally plus two plus zero and impact. Man, that is not very good. <laughs> I have studied every fighting manual. Here comes a new challenger. I could see like discarding the other rumble <laughs> that's that's what's kind of thinking like sh should i keep the might and discard the rumble but figure this thing takes out the the spell shield so i could pass you know like so i could have passed right there and then you know try to try to have them play this first before i play this you know so to protect the spell shield That card's a good card. Wait, why does it have Overwhelm? Oh, because I discarded Scion, it has Overwhelm. That's what's up. Doesn't have overwhelm anymore. Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try out uh, Pantheon later. Um, 
But yeah, some people have been saying the Pantheon is super good. Hopefully that kills the cannon. Alright, cool. And that gets us five damage for the rumble. So if we want to level up rumble, I'll have to do this flame spitter thing. I don't know, I feel like they're gonna just have another you know, homecoming or whatever. Is it worth trying? Because if I just go Flame Spitter, they go, man, this card is not very good. Because I do this, they go Homecoming, or even just bounce their own Shadow Assassin, like anything like that. It's such a complete waste. This card's just so much better. Just the level up is worth so much. And if I don't, if I don't try to level up the card... Because that's the thing, like, if I don't level up the rumble here, then they can easily just stun it, like, the next time, and I'm just never, ever going to level that thing up. I really want that one that creates the three cards. This thing's elusive. So one thing about new cards, though, is you do have some very long games, right? Some slow games. It's been 30 minutes now for one game and, you know, barely part of another game. <laughs> so people read new cards and stuff like that. That card's really good. I should guess I should maybe put that in my RE Kennen deck. I don't have that card in there. The Challenger give plus two, plus zero also. Especially with the quick attack champions with Ari and Kennen both having quick attack. Rumble's difficult to level up, but as we've seen, if Rumble does level up, it's really powerful. Alright, well at least that's their third Sonic Wave, so they're should be out of Sonic Waves, I would think. This thing could feasibly challenge the Ezreal, but I think I like growing everything plus one plus one.
glad they're out of that challenge card, though. Sonic Wave was awesome. They had all three. And they were really awesome. So leveled up from getting five draglings in. I kind of assume we're dead, right? Eleven. This is gonna make one on attack, make one on block. Yeah, I assume we're I assume we're dead. Yeah, with Mystic Shot and everything too. Yeah, I mean, this is over. We don't need to waste another three minutes before my opponent figures it out. It's... we're dead. Ooh, double Yordle Explorer. Okay. I'm in there for double Yordle Explorer and just gonna kinda see what happens with two of those. The question is like whether or not to play one on round two because of Mystic Chance. We probably do. I mean, we could. I could just lead with Conchologist, even though we wouldn't get any Conchologist bonus. But it could maybe find a removal spell for the Teemo. Yeah, that's fine. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Awesome. I love that thing eating Mystic Shot and not Yordle Explorer eating Mystic Shot, that's for sure. Oh, do they have double Teemo in hand? Wow, they had all three Teemos. That's crazy. Wow. I guess I still do this. Mm. The reason not to is to be able to save spell mana. Let the commerce commence. Towards like mini morph. Wow. Draw three. Okay, yeah, I'm not casting that pokey stick. I don't want to draw a card. No. All right, so Rumble has Quick Attack, Overwhelm, Spell Shield, and Impact. There goes the Spell Shield. Gives me 30 Puff Caps. Otherwise, I have Mini Morph. And what, block with Rumble. But then they have another Mystic Shot or get excited. And kill my Rumble. So this would be 60 Puff Caps for 32 cards. So basically every card have two Puff Caps. You think just Mini Morph and then just take the three? Yeah, maybe that's the best play. Oh, Thermo was what I was scared of. Man, I, it's like impossible to play around everything. That was that was the card that punished me for not blocking. But then, you know, they could definitely have like frostbite cards and all that kind of stuff that punished us for blocking. Boy. Travel is of course its own reward. Have a mushroom. Have three. Now, of course, expeditions lead to acquisitions. I can't believe that these things buff each buff themselves. Closing in on the mob. No backup. 
needed. Need miss? Not by a long shot. So we're reducing the cost by one so we can get this elusive. When someone grant me impact twice. I think I just want this card though. Challenger. Challenge these puff cap peddlers. I don't know. This thing, so it's a 2-5, so it'll be like a 5 power elusive with impact. Maybe we grab that. Ticker. Yeah. Mecha Yordles are big. They're of course the Freljord versions. So the, again, they can have like Frostbite stuff and everything. I do definitely wish that I would have blocked with my Rumble before on that Mini Minity. But, you know, that's limited in the past. Get the Thermo Beam. Yeah, that was crazy how they were able to, right? Like, we were just puff capped a little too heavily, right? Because they were able, they had three Teemos in their hands, so they were able to cast the other two Teemos and level up their Teemo on the round three attack. <laughs> you know, like, that's not easy to have round three leveled up Teemo strike. Oh, gosh. And then they had Karina. Yeah. I mean, not much to do about that, I guess. All right, back to Ari Kennen. So that's the thing about uh, you know brand new format like this. Like we don't have very good interaction, and that's kind of that's something that takes time, right? To see, okay, what are these decks that people are playing? You know, like and kind of get used to. Okay, what is this like Ari Kennen deck? What does it really look like? How do we build interaction for it? You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, like what interaction cards do we play? You know, yeah, everything like that. So that's just going to be something that's going to take time. I guess I should keep Whirling Death, though. I should have discarded the, the Fallen Rider or sent that back. I possess the secrets of King but, you know, like, if we're going to be playing against these kind of decks, you know, like Blade's Edge, for example. Like, Blade's Edge is good against Teemo, really good against Kennen. Um, you know, like, that, like, Blade's Edge can be a real card. You know, one mana deal one, fast speed. Nothing wrong with that. So that's something that we just have to find out with. These cards aren't very good. What wondrous discoveries await below? All right, we need our cards that want to discard stuff. Like this is a good hand for Rumble, right? Like we can discard these two Fallen Riders in the stress defense. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with main decking Blade's Edge. Nothing wrong with that at all. Especially if this is, you know, like if... With all these cards printed, like with Kennen, basically, um, Blade's Edge is now really, really valuable with how good Kennen is and with Kennen everywhere, if, if that's going to be a thing. Like if this kind of Ionia deck, you know, Shadow Assassin, you know, kills Shadow Assassin, kills all these things. Absolutely, that's a card you can main deck. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Wish that Earthshaker had overwhelm. Oh yeah, yeah, Death Lotus. Yeah, I could definitely see playing Death Lotus. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll be playing Braum with the 
yeah, with the new Braum skin. But yeah, Braum Vladimir, he said, against this kind of deck. Could be nice if you want to play Death Lotus and Ice Shard and Avalanche. Absolutely. So that's the thing, you know, it's day one, it's all about experimenting, right? So like we're ex like our people are experimenting with Ari and Kennen. We're we're experimenting here with Rumble. We'll be experimenting with those cards in a little bit. It's all about experimenting right away. Um, I wouldn't take too many, uh, you know, I wouldn't have too many takeaways. Like some people are saying, like uh, Pantheon, for example, is just completely busted. Some people are saying that. Like, I don't have too many takeaways like that on day one. Every, everything has, you know, like, there's there's always answers like throughout all the cards for, you know, like I'm sure there's gonna be answers for Pantheon, whatever Pantheon deck starts to look like and things like that. Right now we're just experimenting and finding out what what do the play patterns look like with Rumble, what do they look like with Kennen, that kind of stuff. From what you've seen, he said, from what you've seen, Pantheon is egregiously slow. I'll, I'll be kind of surprised if that's the case, to be honest. Like, four mana, four power overwhelm that grows. That just feels like that there needs to be tuning to the, you know, like, whatever, whatever you've seen with Pantheon, whatever the decks have looked like. Um, you know, it seems like other things need to be changing, changed with the rest of the deck, but I, I'd be very surprised if, like, the actual card Pantheon is too slow. I know a way. Nothing too wrong with an open attack, but against Ionia, Ionia is going to want to play, like, spells to stop, not block, right? Like, they're not really very good at blocking, they want to play spells. And so, if, like, their whole thing is, like, wanting to play spells to stop me anyway, might as well play some other good attackers before attacking. Because so I don't think they're going to be able to block these Risen Riders very well. Better do some stunning or something. I was gonna say they better block this lecturing world too. So this if this happens, we level up Rumble, and then whenever these do damage the Nexus, we'll create we'll create a Mecha Yordle in hand. Oh, we already have a Mecha Yordle. So we'll just be reducing its cost and giving it a plus one plus one, I guess. Okay, yeah, so they're going to Pokey stick their own Kennen to kill it, so we don't get to level up Rumble. They're down to four. And those Kennens are kind of gone from their hands. I can kind of just play this, see what's up. Guess I'll just keep the could grab the elusive, but I don't think we really need it. Go tag team? I kind of like Trumpet Tecker into Trumpet Tecker. Puff caps? There's just only two more. Left. 
All right, so they get one Dragling. No, I guess they'll have room for the two Dragglings. I guess the... Oh, the Ari gets recalled from that spell they played. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and attack with both of these. And attack with all of these. So what do they have for these fearsomes? I can. I will. I should have the fearsomes attacking second and third after the Yordle. I want like the Rumble first so it could level up before damage dealt. But the, the yeah, this lecturing Yordle shouldn't be second. Fearsome Risen Rider win. I thought it was lethal, but double checked. Alright, there we go. We get another rumble animation. Wow. Alright. Two and two. Okay, Draven Jinx Rumble. So maybe like a Draven Jinx aggro? Let's send these two back. Maybe I should keep Lost Soul over Reborn Grenadier? Hmm. Yeah, because right now... Uh, I'm not doing anything until round three. That's kind of bad. Especially, yeah, especially they're doing this kind of stuff. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Not ideal. Oh, I should attack right there because I want to trade it with the 4 2 anyway. If they blocked, I'm happy. I should have attacked right there. Else? <laughs> I guess Trumpet Tecker again. Yeah. You know, the elusive's good against, like, elusive and stuff. We don't really need the elusive here. I think that three drop is maybe one of the worst ones, but maybe not also. All right, so arena promoter next round. Discard scion or rumble. Okay, so if we go rumble, discard, discard. I don't really need to discard a lot of stuff, though. All right, so rumble, discard, two scions. It has impact and quick attack. No spell shield. That's kind of probably just better to play this card. There we go. Professor Von Men. That's what we want. We want a lot more followers to be able to create to discard. Yeah, I definitely want spell shield. Always good to have spell shield. I made this attack the first time. See, that's what we're missing. See, I could I could definitely see this being better, you know, just like Rumble Scion being better with Piltover and Zahn getting Mystic Shot, Zahnite Urchin, you know, three mana, four, three, like that kind of stuff, instead of Bandle City with these Mecha Yordles. I could certainly see that being better.
Because Pill Tavern's on just kind of has all the discard stuff you want. But, uh, you know, I wanted, I wanted to try out the new Mecha Yordles. And some of them have been pretty good, but not impressed with all of them. Alright, so we're already at seven. So they've played two. Man, I guess Greenglade Elder actually looks really cool here. I mean, I could just play Elder plus 3-3 three, three Vanguard Defender plus 2-2 two, two Omenhawk. It actually does look good. What would you wish to learn? Yeah, and then, yep, you get the face damage with Piltover and Zon, right? Yep, you get these burn spells. So they've, they, speaking of burn spells, you know, they just played a Get Excited and two Mystic Shots already. Hopefully they don't have too much more burn. But yeah, you get good quality removal, you get Nexus damage. Man, and they're passing. I kind of feel like I just have to pass also, because they waste all this mana. Lecturing Yord will kill something. Just playing a Scion. We got great blockers. We're controlling the board pretty well. So Scion allows it. So we're going to have eight mana next round. So I can, like, you know, Lecturing Yordle or Rumble, like, whichever one we feel like next round. And then I'll also have the Roar of the Slayer available. No overwhelm for Rumble. So we lose one life due to the impact on Rumble. They're left with just Rumble, nothing else. We're left with Scion plus this 3-2 tough. Spell Shield should hit this Roar the Slayer. Of the spell shield that kills the rumble. Oh wow! Never mind. Burst speed unit. Exactly sure why no why no block. It's gonna put me down to four. Hit that red line. There's the five mana slow speed deal four. You know they have a Mecha Yordle now. So I want to attack before they could play the 5 mana slow speed deal 4, before like the, they can't play this Mecha Yordle yet. Okay, it was a rummage. There we go. GG's. 3 and 2. Alright, so our first 
attempt at Rumble Scion. We went three and two. Of course, there's going to be other, you know, our other opponents were also just kind of playing some test decks as well. Played against a couple of Kennen decks, played against another Rumble deck. Um, didn't see any Pantheon yet. Um, but, you know, Rumble looked pretty good. I think the Rumble with Scion makes a lot of sense too, though, because I really liked whenever um, whenever you discard your three cards and one of them is Scion, and so that Scion gives the Rumble overwhelm. I really liked that interaction. So I think that Rumble and Scion work pretty well together um, because, you know, Rumble's very big for a four drop and it has quick attack. And, you know, even, you know, if you discard your three cards, quick attack, spell shield, very big. You see that with Sivir, right? Quick, quick attack, spell shield, very big. It's super hard to block profitably. But, you know, you can just throw units in front of it. So having that Overwhelm also, tacking that in there, really makes a big difference uh, with the Rumble. So I liked that quite a bit. The Mecha Yordles in general looked good, especially the four mana Mecha Yordle that creates a 1, 2, and 3 drop. That card's crazy. I, was, I thought that was an or. <laughs> it's an and. Create three cards. That one's awesome. We got that with the Promoter a couple of times and made it only three mana instead of four. And then, of course, the, the five mana one that anthems your whole team that gives gives all of your units in play plus one plus one that trumpeteer card that one did a great job finishing games out yordle explorer just seems kind of silly i can't I, this this is a yordle itself so it buffs itself and buffs all these other cards and conchologist is a yordle also yeah yordles i think you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff from yordles in the future and especially yordle explorer i think you're going to be uh, seeing this card quite a bit. So you have your Mystic Shot type cards, right? Your your ways to deal two damage, ways to kill two twos. That's going to be uh, even more important than what it is now. Anyway, uh, Bandal City, as you can see, almost all of our deck is Bandal City. And Bandal City was all right, but we talked about this in the, during the last game. That I could certainly see this combination with Piltover and Zaun for your other region. Rumble is Noxus as well. So you can play Rumble and Scion and Noxus and then play Piltover and Zaun. And basically think of like your Draven Scion deck, but then play Rumble instead of Draven. And uh, you probably have to switch up a little bit because like Draven gave you, you know, the axes that you could discard. Rumble doesn't do that. You know, you know, maybe switch up a couple of other things here and there. Um, but, you know, like that gives you like those two regions give you um, a lot of cards that you like Piltover and Zaun gives you a lot of cards you want to discard. And it also gives you good discard outlets with um, the, you know, discard and draw cards, your one drop, your three drop that does that. So I, I could see doing that with that region too. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it though for Rumble Scion, our first deck with a new expansion. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know which, like, what are you excited about with these champions? You know, what should we, what else should we try with Rumble? or Kennen and Rari or Pantheon, right? Like what kind of combinations do you want to see that's different? That's not something that everybody else is doing. Let me know, because I love playing decks that are a little bit different. Um, yeah. All right, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.